Well, hello there. This is Father Fish. And I would like to talk with you today about something that troubles lots of aquarists. It just gives them a fit and they go crazy over it. But you know what's interesting? It's really not a problem. Now, what am I talking about? Well, I'm talking about algae. Algae. Everybody has algae in their tanks. Might be a little bit, might be a whole lot. And there are many, many, many different kinds of algae. But what is it about algae that troubles us so much? Well, some people say it's unsightly, it's ugly, it's messy, it's just a slime, or it's hairy, or it messes everything up, or it covers up all my plants and kills them. Oh, there are lots of reasons to despise algae. But you know, there's one thing that's really important to understand. If you have algae in your tank, it's because your tank is trying to save itself from crashing, from being polluted from killing everything. After all, what is algae? Well, it's a plant. It's a plant. Typically, when someone calls me up and says they have an algae problem, I tell them, well, come on in and I'll sell you some more. And that way you can overcome the one you don't like. All plants are a form of algae. In point of fact, in saltwater, all of the plants that, um, that we harvest are referred to as macroalgae or microalgae. They're all a form of algae. Not so much the case with freshwater. Because a lot of freshwater plants, well, for one thing, they have roots. Most saltwater plants don't have roots. There's some that do, but most don't. They simply attach themselves to a hard surface and grow, just like, well, an algae. Ah. So, you have algae in your tank. Well, boo. You have algae in your tank because your tank is in trouble and it is trying to save itself. The algae is growing in there because there are nutrients that it's feeding on. Those nutrients exceed the natural and normal bio load of the system and therefore require uh, cleaning up. Algae is a cleanup crew. Algae is a way of reducing excess nutrients, especially nitrates from your water column. If you put a whole lot of plants in a tank, you probably won't get much, if any, algae. Because the plants will absorb the very nutrition that algae feeds upon. If you have no plants, then and you have any kind of light at all, 
then you're likely to get algae. Now, if you don't have light, you're still going to get algae. It'll just be a different kind. It'll be like brown algae, or black algae, or even red algae. But it'll be algae. It'll be a plant trying to consume the excess nutrients that are growing in your tank, that are multiplying and increasing in your tank. So, what do we do about algae? Well, I've already given you a few clues. You can add plants. There's one more really important clue. Two, really. One is to slow way down on feeding. Don't feed nearly as much as you currently are feeding because it's creating excessive nutrients. The other is to uh, add a couple of inches of sand to your tank. Make it a deeper sand bed. With a deeper sand bed the excess nutrients will trickle down through the sand to the bottom of the sand where they will remain. If you've got three to four inches of substrate, then you're going to have an anaerobic layer at the bottom of that substrate that will break down all that excess waste and keep it there until the roots of plants are able to reach down to it and absorb it and bring it up and create leaves and stems and flowers where once there was dirt. A deep sand bed. Feed less. Add plants. Don't try to scrub it away so much as try to um, threaten its very existence but in, by getting rid of the problem that's causing it. Now you can do that with continuous water changes. That works. It's laborious. And you run the risk of shocking your fish with the water change that Maybe it doesn't go very well. A deep sand bed works absolute miracles in a fish tank. Try it, my fishy friends, and you will love it. Doesn't matter what kind of sand, just not gravel. Gravel's too heavy and water flows through it too easily. You need sand. Something that water flows through slowly so that when the dirt gets down in there, it stays down in there. And oxygen cannot permeate to that deeper level, which makes it possible for the waste to break down and be taken up by your plants. So by all means, add plants. Lots of plants. Keep the algae away by keeping more and more plants in your tank. There is a rule. The rule is about plants. The more plants you have, the more fish you can have. If your plant is so dense and thick, if your tank is so dense and thick with plants that you can't see through it, you can put many, many, many more fish in that tank and they will thrive. Deep sand bed. Lots of plants. One more thing. There are some kinds of algae that I really like. There's an algae that grows like a mat on the bottom of the tank right on top of the sand bed. I really like that algae. It doesn't come up much. I've only seen it in a few tanks. 
but boy is it neat. It looks like a lawn covering the entire tank. So if you're lucky enough to have a kind of algae you really like, then uh, keep it by all means. If you're not, you can pull it out, but unless you do something else to get rid of the calls of the algae, it'll just grow right back again. Deep sand bed, feed less, lots of plants. Happy fishing, my friends. Oh, there's one more thing I want to show you. A friend of mine collected some rocks this week. I'm going to give you a premiere. These are magnificent. Hold on a minute. We'll go take a look. Look at these. Isn't that absolutely amazing? And I must have 500 pounds of this rock. Some of it is paper thin. It is rock that has been carved out by wind and rain. Wind and water. Not by, not by being in, uh, in water, but by being on land for thousands and thousands of years where it has become worn. It is, of course, fossilized oil that's been pushed up onto the land and the weather has beaten on it century after century causing causing this amazing kind of structure. Isn't that gorgeous? I'll be selling this. Will be available as soon as I can get some up on uh, get gills. Thought you'd like to see that. Very good. Well, thank you so much. Good to have you with us. Nice to have you tuning in. It's good to be back. I've been very, very sick for a long time. Most recently for a couple of months, but I'm much better now. Feeling stronger every day. Hoping to avoid this uh, plague that is upon us so that I can continue to bring you these very, I hope, enjoyable and informative and helpful videos. Thank you. Good to see you. God bless.